Hello comrades, Sebastian Michael Cruz here. Today's topic is genius talent number six. And if you have genius talent number six in your genius path, I'm gonna give you a brief intro about what that means for you. And if you haven't gotten your free genius path report yet, go ahead and get it, it's at decodergenius.com. So let's begin by taking a look at the green rectangle on the right hand side. So if you have genius talent number six in your genius path, it means you're here to develop focus creativity, practicality, and ideas into reality, okay? So this is about having a bunch of creative ideas while also having the discernment, the discipline, and the skill of taking that idea, following it through till it's a completed idea into reality. And this is, this is a hallmark of great creatives that they're able to tap into the creative ideas, but also follow them through to get them done. And so let's take a look at what's blocking that, which is the resistance pattern, which is scattered creativity, stubbornness, and half-finished projects. So we really see this dynamic come up with the typical artist example, where they're very creative, the starving artist type idea, they're very creative, but it's scattered everywhere, they're brilliant, but there's a bunch of half-finished projects. And to get rewarded, that creativity needs to be followed through to completion. And so that's the key thing here, is that's a make or break, is being able to, it's not having the ideas, the ideas will be there either way, but it's having the, the discernment and the, the ability to follow it through. So out of the different strategies to move from resistance to genius talent with the six, the one we'll go through today is taking a look at, first and foremost, taking a look at your half-finished projects and writing them down. How many half-finished projects do you have right now? And the key is to focus on one to three of those projects. Three is even pushing it. More than three is just ridiculous. But one to three projects that you can focus your resources into to follow through to completion. And as you do that, it'll become easier and easier because you're building that skill, which then means that greater creative ideas will start flowing through you because otherwise it's like they're backed up. It's like a, it's like a clogged pipe that they can't even get through so it, you're not accessing the, the greater ideas, okay? And with this one personally, I've definitely felt this as well. Like early on in my career, I had a bunch of half-finished projects and I didn't have the discernment yet of what to focus on, when to focus on it, and how to focus on it. And that's really the key here. And what I recommend is writing down all your ideas. Have a notebook for all your ideas and write them down so that it's out in paper, but that doesn't mean you need to do it right now. And then once it's out in paper, you can see, ah, okay, this idea might be six months in the future. It might be three months in the future. It might be four years in the future. And you can make sure that you're focusing on the right things at the right time in the right way. Okay, so that's what I got for you in this genius talent number six. If you haven't gotten your report yet, go ahead and get it. It's at decodergenius.com. My name is Bash Michael Cruz, and I'll see you in the next video.